So today I wanted to bring a review on these Neutrogena lip things. And these came out really recently. Whenever I think of Neutrogena, like I go to the drugstore and I think acne products or skin cleansers or things like that. And I knew that Neutrogena created like foundation and stuff because I've used that in the past in like my, um, I'd say like 15, 16, you know? Um, but I honestly didn't know that they did lip products. Like, I was kind of shocked, but I went in there, and it says that they have Moisture Shine Gloss, which is like a lip gloss, and then a lip balm. And I just kind of wanted to give you my review and also ask you if you've tried other, whether it's Neutrogena or not, other drugstore products that are, like, turning into makeup. Like, Proactive is supposed to be for skin. All of a sudden, they're putting makeup out there. Neutrogena is supposed to be for skin. They're putting makeup out there. Um, Alme has kind of always been makeup, but you know, Neutrogena, you think of skin, not makeup, so I was wondering if there are other brands that are doing this, and I also wanted to, since they're fairly new, tell you a little bit about if I like them or if I don't, and get your opinion. Do you like them? Do you not? Why or why not? The, the little lip balms come in a thing like this, and it has like this lady on here who's supposed to be like cured of her bad lips because she used this product, and then these little glosses came in like a sticky wrapper. And um, basically this wrapper has the ingredients. It doesn't look like it's anything really, really terrible. Um, it has more oils than actual, um, like more beneficial oils than just petroleum, which is what most lip glosses contain. It has like soybean oil, safflower seed oil, um, even primrose oil, stuff like that, aloe vera. Like it seems like it's not as bad as it could be because a lot of lip glosses are just bad. Um, and then this little balm is marketed to be a sheer tint with SPF 20 for soft, rosy lips. I got mine in plum and then the other color. Um, and it has just a couple of active ingredients that help with the sun protection factor. And it says that in just a week it helps improve the texture and restores the look of rosiness, soft lips, whatever keeps them looking healthy. Um, overall, I absolutely love these lip balms and these lip glosses are okay. These lip balms are pretty much amazing. I do not have dry, chapped lips, but my lips are not always the smoothest. Like, I can say I do not have the softest lips, um, especially after lip gloss. Sometimes my lips peel. They just do that. I hope it's not, like, sun damage. First off, I love these because, yes, they have um, SPF in them, but also they're small. Like, chapstick's really round. This I can fit in my pocket or my purse, and it's not as round as a chapstick, so it doesn't, like, you know, it won't, like, fall off a table because it's more flat. The colors, I only got two colors. They have other colors as well. This is Sunny Berry and Fresh Plum. They have other colors as well, which I'm aware of, but that's what they look like. And honestly, when I put these on, I thought, oh, it's going to be just like a chapstick. Like, it says it's tinted, whatever. It's not going to be that tinted. It's kind of like a drugstore version of the what is it, the Rose 20 or the Sugar Rose. There's a Sugar Rose from Sephora, which is basically the same thing as like a high-end chapstick with a little bit of color and SPF stuff and moisturizing. I would say that's this in the drugstore form. Not the best out there, but for the price, I think it's only like five bucks. It's really not that bad. Um, did I notice my skin or my lips being softer? Like I said, I didn't start with chapped, peely lips. I didn't I didn't think they're fuller or anything, but I can't deny, I mean, really no opinion. They're not super, super soft all of a sudden, but they're not not soft. Um, you know, I haven't, I've been using them for about two weeks. It hasn't been every day. Maybe if I did, there would be a difference. But when they're on, I definitely feel like they're, because chapstick just feels kind of greasy. It's just kind of all over. And I, I use chapstick a lot of times, but I like this because it's not, it's smooth, but it's not super greasy. And I'll show you what this color is. This is actually my favorite color. The plum one is a little bit darker. It's more of a brown. But you can see, like, look at that. The color is actually pretty darn intense. It's not like it has no color. So I was kind of shocked that the color was, had that much payoff, you know? Here's the top. ding dong with two completely different products on my lips mm. but it's like it's really smooth you know it doesn't feel greasy um I'd say that at most these last about four hours you can use a primer I have generally haven't but overall in about four hours I realized they last of course if you eat a lot or talk a lot then that'll be diminished um, but overall I was really pleased with these I would say if you have dry or chapped lips that you can go ahead and buy these it'll be a good investment 
Um, if you don't, I would say if you don't have anything that has SPF, then go ahead and buy them. But it really depends on what you need and what you like. I think that it does what it says it does, although I haven't tested out the softer, less chap lips. I haven't tried that out. For different people, it'll probably work differently. But I was overall pleased with these. Next part are these lip glosses. And they're supposed to be the Moisture Shine Gloss. And I have this on now, so I'd have to take it off before I could put these on. But I'll swatch them on me. And I don't know, this is vital violet and i also got the pink one that is nutriberry and i generally don't like pink but i like it on lip stuff um so it comes out it has one of these applicators which is really nice the doe foot the doe foot like it's kind of a funny name um they are a little bit shimmery so they're not like a completely matte like gloss if you know what i mean like it's not just color they have a bit of shimmer um, overall I kind of like them. Do I feel like they're moisturizing? That's the thing. They're definitely not as drying as regular lip gloss because regular lip gloss my lips will peel a little bit. These don't cause my lips to peel or anything, but at the same time I don't feel like they moisturize them supremely and my lips are all of a sudden super super soft. Um, does it moisturize? Maybe it's compared to regular lip gloss, but I still think that these are better for moisture. Um, as far as color payment, I really like them. They're a little bit of a stickier gloss, so they do stay on longer, which I like, but if you don't like sticky gloss, then it's probably not the best for you. I just wiped that on the carpet. People in here are going to get really mad at me. Um, just pretend that didn't happen. <laughs> um, the only thing that I noticed, these will last, I guess, about four hours as well. You could prime and make them last longer thing that I noticed about these is that when I apply them, if I put them really, really close to the edge of my lip, I find that they'll kind of smear a little bit. Like they'll kind of, they don't feather. Lip gloss and lipstick sometimes feathers. It doesn't feather on me. It just kind of extends. Like it kind of like seeps around. And it's not terrible. It's usually just a little bit outside of my natural lip. But I've noticed that when applying these, I do have to apply them inside of my natural lips so that they don't go outside my lips. So I think that it's just probably just because of the natural oils that they want to like move and spread. Um, it's really not that big of an issue, but that's the only thing that I really didn't like about them. Um, I wish that they had one that was more matte, like an actual color, not a color with shimmer. Um, but so far I've been pretty pleased with them. I also wish they had SPF, but you can't have everything. So those are my reviews of these products that I picked up a little while ago. I'm probably going to get another one of these just because I like them so much. But let me know if you've tried them, what you think, if you like them, if you don't, or if you know of other drugstore brands that all of a sudden are doing makeup. Like here's, they're doing like skincare and all of a sudden they're doing makeup. Like if Clean and Clear came out with like lip gloss, I would be like, what? And that's how I'm feeling about this stuff. But shocking. I guess they actually knew what they were doing. So I love you guys so much. I hope this review helps you and I look forward to talking to y'all soon. Love you guys. Bye.